Welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson is about possessives and some common mistakes that、um, English language learners make, and some common mistakes that native language na- native English language learners make today. So we're going to look at both. First, we're going to start with the order of possessions. I'm going to give you an example of something that's incorrect. Incorrect. So here's an example of an incorrect possession. We say the uncle of my husband. This is incorrect to say it this way. So how we need to do it is we need to say my. Husband's uncle passed away. If you don't know what passed away is, please、uh, take a class with us to learn about some phrasal verbs. This is the possession: my husband's uncle, rather than the uncle of my husband. Let me give you another incorrect example. The red car belonging to my daughter is old. The red car belonging to my daughter is old. Now I've heard somebody say this. It should be my daughter. With an S, an apostrophe, my daughter's red car is old. So always think when we have belonging or when we say of, most likely we're saying that incorrectly, and we need to put the my husband or my daughter's with the apostrophe S. Now let's take a look at that apostrophe. This can be difficult for many English native English speakers as well as many English language learners. So it's pretty simple, really. There's a couple rules. The first rule is when the noun is singular, when the noun is singular, add apostrophe s. So we already took a look at this one. Husbands. Here's our apostrophe, s because it's singular. You only have one husband. Most people only have one husband, so we add an apostrophe. Now there's another rule when it's singular, but ends. With s, I'm going to take a look at a name. A name of a friend. Her name is Cass. Her name is Cass. So this is a singular. She's just one person, but it ends in the s. So what we say is Cass. Casses. So we just add that apostrophe there. So I say Cass's cat. Isn't friendly. Some people say you can do both with this. So some people say that you could do both and add it here. Cass's cat isn't friendly. Here I have an example of. Also, when we use the apostrophe for a contraction here. But that's different from the possessives. Now, the third example we're going to look at is when it's plural and ends in an s. And we're going to take a look at boys. Boys. So when that's the case, we just add. Add the apostrophe at the end. Let me give you an example. 
the boys room is messy. So here you can see we put it at the end. Now the final example, the fourth rule, the fourth rule about this is when it's plural with no s. with no s. So um, we're going to use the same example except with children. So for example, children is plural. Children is plural, but it doesn't end in an s. So what we do is we add our apostrophe s. So we say, for example, the children's room is messy. So we add that apostrophe S. So I hope this helps with your writing and with your speaking. For all of you, if you'd like to take a class, please contact us. If you're a native English speaker, I hope this helps you learn how to use your apostrophes better. In any case, have a good day.